So if you happen to disconnect your Bluetooth keyboard, you might not be able to connect it. It might give you this error, error pair, unsuccessful. Uh, even after restarting, it might give you this error message. So let's try this again. I'm going to force close settings. Go into Bluetooth. It keeps on giving this message. How about I turn off the Bluetooth keyboard? And this is the keyboard I previously had synced, but now I disconnected. And this is an old iPad too. Okay. So what might help is by turning on and off the Bluetooth. Let's look at this. Powered on my keyboard. And again it says pairing unsuccessful. Click OK. So on some keyboards you have to turn on the search for Bluetooth. In this case this inland keyboard is function C, which is that Bluetooth symbol. Function. C and then over here you should now see Bluetooth keyboard. And so now I can go ahead and click on it and start the setup process. It says to type zero nine seven one, which I'm gonna do over here. Nine seven one we're going to press enter. If you press enter over here. It makes the little pop up disappear. And I'm connected to my keyboard. Quick test on App Store is to delete this all. You can see I'm deleting the keyboard. I'm going to type in ASDF. That's it. So just remember to turn on your um, Bluetooth search function. It gets stuck somehow thinking that the keyboard is available. I'm not sure why. This might be because I'm using an old iPad too. So.